Are you itching to explore the world while earning a living? Well, this video is for you. Today we're gonna discover how to find a remote job that allows you to fulfill your travel dream as a digital nomad. So let's dive right in. The very first things that you wanna do is to identify the type of skills or things that you like, that you do in your general life, that you may transform into a remote skill set. This will help you narrow down the remote opportunities. You can start by asking yourself, what are your passion, what you're good at, what your friends and family think that you are good at. Do you like social media? Do you like to create video? There are a lot of questions that you can start to ask yourself in order to understand your remote uh, skills. The fact is that uh, if you don't have one yet, uh, this uh, uh, topic is huge. So make sure to check out this video where I help you to discover and develop your remote skills and then come back here. The second things you want to do is to explore the remote job platform online. These are great way to find uh, remote opportunities but also to understand uh, what uh, actually the market is looking for which type of jobs are out there so if you don't have a remote job yet you can also just start to scroll through those uh, online platforms to understand uh, which jobs are out and what maybe can interest you and you can learn something more about it in order to become a professional and apply for those type of jobs in fact websites like remote code job flex and upwork offer a wider range uh, of uh, remote jobs across different industries but it's not the only way personally I prefer to find clients or remote opportunity directly on Facebook group and what I do is basically write the keywords that uh, are related to me so social media management or content creator in the search bar of Facebook and then scroll across uh, all the group uh, that are there. I join them and then I will just check through them because usually in those group there are entrepreneurs, there are businesses or personal brand that are looking for some figure of freelancing. I personally find uh, more success with those than with online platform, but I think this is very personal. The goal is to create an appealing profile on those platforms, showcasing your previous work, your skills and your experiences. The third thing is to leverage uh, networking and online communities. Networking is a powerful tool in the remote job search. In fact, they use social media such as Facebook and LinkedIn to connect with other people in that type of profession or in that type of field. Engage in conversation, ask a question, answer to public post, and make that the people in those communities start already to notice you. Online community are incredible tools for job leads and create connection, but not only. In fact, I will still recommend to check out for some digital nomad meetup around your area in order to actually have a conversation face-to-face -face with like-minded people, develop a bigger network offline instead of online this time. And who knows, maybe you will find someone that will need your help. Remember that the word of mouth can still be the greatest tool to find a remote job. Spread your words through friends and family. Who is better to start with if not them? Start to spread your word with friends and family, telling them what you're looking for, your ideas, and see if they have any recommendations for you or even better maybe they will have someone to recommend it to you and if you're just starting out uh, building your portfolio maybe they can be your very first clients first of all I will recommend you to be yourself your very first clients for instance if you want to become a social media manager start to grow your social media or if you want to be a video editor start to edit your own video but maybe also your friend and family needs this type of services and that can be part of your portfolio as well for instance if you want to become a social media manager your friends and family might need help with their own social medias or maybe the social media of their company or maybe a friend of them knows someone that is looking for a copywriter for a few minutes later kitchen recipes and if you like food and you are actually looking for coming a copywriter this may be your opportunity talk with your friends and family because you never know if they know someone that knows someone that needs something and this can be the start but don't forget that if you are trying to build your portfolio be your very first client and if you don't know how to make sure to watch this video where i will help you to find and develop a remote skill set. Step five is to approach a remote friendly company. After the big C, many companies are moving towards the benefits of remote working and decide to move the workers on home office or simply fully remote. I would recommend to research this type of company, especially those that are into your field. And actually you can even research them on LinkedIn because there is a specific voice that said remote work. What you want to do at this point is do whatever 
whatever you will do if you are looking for a job. I'm not a career coach, but basically you will have to write down your cover letter, your nice CV, leveraging the fact that uh, traveling and the remote work is pushing you towards more productivity and better work. And of course, working for a company or clients that value the same things that you value as well is a great point. And in fact, I will definitely do leverage on that. Personally speaking, being able to travel and work at the same time is my passion. So I always make sure to leverage this when I talk with potential clients. Bonus point in my case, if I can work with someone in the travel industry. It's not gonna be easy. I'm the very first person to say it's not gonna be easy. It took me many years before arriving in this position and I still struggle sometimes. But this channel is made for me to give tips to basically my younger self, which didn't know anything about the online world. I even didn't have a laptop until six years ago, even less probably. But the fact is that if you're starting out, this is a great place to be so i hope uh, in this video you find uh, some inspiration and remember that every wednesday i publish digital nomad tips and on sunday is more travel related so i hope uh, to see you soon and uh, well see you soon <laughs> very soon <laughs> bye